308 BHS open range here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I want to mention real quick, you might see some uh, features, options, upgrades present in this video that are non-standard equipment. Keep in mind, not every single 308 is going to look like this. If our picture tours look different, uh, that's probably a better, rep, uh, you know, more accurate representation of the unit we have in stock. This is just here for stock and educational type, uh, you know, footage purposes. So anytime you start mentioning the word open range, immediately the entire game changes because there's nothing else like them. And that's why I put this video together. Because at a glance, you're going to find someone's like, oh, I I've seen a floor plane like this before. Yes, but you've never seen open range do it. And there is a very big reason I say that. Um, <clears throat> So let's just get dug in here. The front pass-through storage, the door is extra tall, it's extra wide, your storage is extra big, and it is completely finished off in here. Nothing is ever like half done, uh, you know, on an open range. Even stuff like they have LED baggage door lights and this handy little plug system right here is uh, not an accident. That's there if you want to put like a little mini fridge or something like that. This is a big camper. It's a bunkhouse. There's going to be kids running around jacked up on Mountain Dew and they're going to try to rock this thing all over. So we like to add as an option these little strong arm stabilizers here that go on your uh, stabilizer jacks. They do a fantastic job guys. They will really make a night and day difference. Like after you've been in a camper that has these and you step into one without you, you're like, oh my god, I'm feeling seasick in here. And that's no exaggeration. Uh, underbelly is fully enclosed, forced air, heated, insulated. And uh, it's actually one of the big things I like to talk about on an open range is that every single open range is both zero and 100 degree tested. Uh, so this is probably, if not, uh, you know, the best, one of the very best well insulated RVs in its class. Now, I I'm going to pause here for a minute to point out a couple things. First of all, um, open ranges are wide body. Most RVs are eight foot wide and that's fine. Uh, these are 100 inch wide body. They are physically wider. They are also taller. This travel trailer is minimum seven foot tall from floor to ceiling panel inside. That's a huge difference. That's basically six inches bigger than most anything out there with few exceptions. And even the ones that are a little bit taller, it's still three inches taller than almost all of those. So it's taller than tall trailers. Uh, that interior height and whatnot makes a big difference. Now, because they, they effectively build this much like, uh, I mean, you know, the name light's not an accident, but this is built uh, in the same styling as a conventional ultralight trailer. It's just physically larger. So the weight doesn't get out of control with that additional size. Now, a couple other, this, this is a massive difference, is that uh, not only is the body wider, but your slides are deeper. A common full depth slide like you see on this travel trailer back here, which is it's 36 inches deep. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good, full, true, deep slide. They go further with an open range. It, literally, this is a 42 inch deep slide instead of a 36 inch. That extra six inches makes a big difference, especially when paired with the already uh, wider body that you'll find in an open range. So this has a significantly greater cubic foot of interior space and you will notice it, feel it, enjoy it immediately when you step inside. Uh, standard frameless windows that don't just look cool, they do hide the window pane here, or pardon me, the window seal under the window pane. Now we will commonly upgrade these with a, just an insane, uh, what, oh, I think it's even called extreme arctic package, uh, insulation bundle. Um, that is essentially going to upgrade the insulation uh, in the, like the roof and the floor of this thing to match that of its Big Daddy Open Range 3X fifth wheel. And I am more than happy to dig into that in greater detail. I don't have the time in this video, which is probably already going to run long. Uh, we have stamped steel roof trusses uh, below a plywood deck with a rubberized PVC roof membrane. What all that translates to in English is extreme reliability, which is one of the reasons this has twice the warranty of virtually anything else in travel trailers, again, with few exceptions. Uh, it's also definitely walkable and the rubberized PVC uh, roof membrane does not need to be treated you still of course need to check seals that's a different thing uh, but you don't have to treat the roof that's why we put a full ladder on the back of these that's an option we like to add in if you see these little black widgets sticking out the back here that's a pre prep station for a Furion backup camera system. We'll often include the prep uh, rarely include uh, pardon me include the camera straight from the factory now again 
uh, quality, reliability. These things are evident all over if you keep your eyes open. This corner trim, for example, it's not plastic trim with a rubberized uh, cover covering screw heads. This is all aluminum. This is not going to expand and shrink the way rubber and plastic will when exposed to the sun. So it's going to hold its shape better. Speaking of holding its shape, that's why Open Range uses their AccuSlide systems. It keeps the, it, it's as close to a guarantee of anything as you can possibly get. It will keep the slide holding its shape so that, uh, you know, it, if, if the slide bends out of square, you're going to have a leak. And that basically can't happen here. If you can get this slide to bend out of square, you've got bigger problems because you've just messed your trailer up pretty bad. This is a full outdoor kitchen model, and I love Open Range's outdoor kitchens. I like their inside kitchens too, but we'll get there in a minute. Uh, I like that they include a microwave for you. That's a nice touch, and that's something a lot of people aren't given. Um, the cabinetry out here, first of all, this is very deep. This is about 18 inches deep. Um, notice that even outside, we have hidden hinge cabinetry. Now, one of the few differences between the 308 light and the 310 Roamer is that you'll see uh, a panel insert on your door. The style is still hardwood, but the panel insert is here. That is just a pure weight savings thing, and frankly, it keeps stuff in your cabinets just as well as a hardwood insert. Um, they're including the full-size fridge here, uh, you know, the college kid fridge versus the little uh, two cubic foot pop-up mini fridge. Um, down here, they also have a big space right here, and it's wide open, and it's uh, left here for extra appliances. You see that power outlet hiding up here. That's exactly why this thing's here. Um, so. We also have full pull-out drawers here to keep all your spatulas and tongs and stuff. We do have a, a handy little uh, pull-out burner system right here, and you could easily throw a bumper-mounted grill on here if you want to. Keep in mind, you'll need to put a propane splitter on here if you want to do that. Um, travel trailers generally don't have Equiflex suspension systems. First of all, you're seeing nice aluminum wheels and radial tires. Secondly, um, Equal flex suspension. What that means to you, it's a rubberized shock dampening system. It's going to absorb road shock before it gets translated up into the trailer and forward into your vehicle. That's what causes you to get jounced around in your vehicle. Now, this is cool. First of all, look at the size of the window they have in this door. It's huge. It, it, it's going to provide more light. And notice, first of all, you can see right out of it but you can't really see into it very well. It's an 80% UV tint, so you're only getting about 20% uh, visibility from the outside, but you get virtually 100% visibility from the inside. And uh, that's going to give you more privacy, but allow you to have more light whenever you want it. Let me close the door behind us here. Now, a big thing I like to talk about in RVs whenever I see it, and I get to talk about it in every single open range, because they do this without fail, is you walk in and you just have lights. You have light switches right by the door, and they light up the entire living room. Look at that. Now, um, real quick, the color scheme we're looking at here is called limestone, and again, that can change from unit to unit. Um, let me back up here um, to give us kind of a big living room overview, and then we'll get dug in here as well. Um, Let's start right here with the big party couch. Uh, I don't know if that's the technical term, that's what I call it. Now, you can configure this thing a bunch of different ways. First of all, you see that you can use it like a dinette. And actually, you can use it like two dinettes because these tabletops store neatly in these gigantic pull-out storage uh, drawers here in your dinette. Now, there's one of these on the opposite side as well, so you get to see one open and one closed and get the full effect here. Um, this little black pedestal is obviously where the other table would go. Now, uh, you can leave both of these out, both the tables out, and just have a giant wide open lounge. Now, keep in mind, this is wide body, so we have more floor space, and then this is a six inch deeper slide, so you have even more floor space. This is one of the biggest travel trailers uh, like this you'll find. Um, not the heaviest, strangely. Uh, now, in the middle, there is a hide -a bed um, now, below the hide -a bed there's actually two big storage pockets under here. So you have uh, dinette storage here, dinette storage in here. We have a hide -a bed in the middle that does not prevent the use of these little lounges on the side while it's in use. There is a lot of strong thinking and intelligence going on here. And remember, seven foot tall ceiling. So we are getting extremely tall roofing here. Um, air conditioners on an open range are going to be bigger. They're also going to have better ducting systems. Air conditioners in an open range are racetrack ducted. Uh, first of all, start looking at campers when you're shopping around. You see that there's two sets of air ducts 
running down the trailer. A lot of trailers will just have one shunt that runs all the way down. Now, uh, the other thing is most trailers, uh, with very few exceptions, this being about the only one I am aware of, there may be another one, but I don't want to make that claim and not guarantee it. I don't make promises I can't keep. That's just a thing with me. But air systems normally go down, H-ducted, and then they stop. Well, you get buildup of air pressure in the rear bunkhouse area and in the front bedroom area behind where we're standing, and then you don't get efficient cooling there. Only your living room really cools well. Well, this has a loop, a continuous track circuit loop that will keep all the air moving evenly through the entire coach. Um, big uh, uh, island here, and I want to point out just the, again, attention to detail, a, a pretty good sized toe kick so you can actually stand and belly right up to the bar. and. You'll find little hidden power outlets all over the place here, but they keep them out of the way so that it doesn't look unsightly, you know? Um, we will all, I've never seen an open range we've carried where we have not upgraded the refrigerator from a six to an eight cubic foot. Um, that is an option though, technically. Now your countertops are another one of those few areas that an open range 308 light will vary from a Romer 310 BHS. And instead of Corian solid surface, which is gorgeous, but it is heavier, they use a, uh, a fully molded resin top here. And the whole point is that it's a sealed edge so that water can't slip into a seam and bulge and sponge your countertops. Um, I told you I won't make promises I can't keep. This is one that's guaranteed. Open ranges have the best kitchens, period. And that's a big, bold statement, but it is true. They have so much storage in here, it's not even funny. And I actually had, there's so much, I couldn't get all of the drawers open at the same time because they will conflict with one another. So, like all of this space here is in the slide out. It's off the floor plan. It's just guaranteed bonus storage space. Um, you know, big countertop space here with again, power outlets to run your appliances. Uh, again, everything hidden hinge cabinetry. I have not seen one cabinet in here that's the exception to that rule. Gigantic slide out pots and pans drawer here. And one of my favorite things to talk about is the perfect pantry. This is a uh, uh, just a, an awkward space otherwise. If you saw something like this, you'd just expect it to be a door that flips open. And then you'd have to get down on your knee and you'd have to reach in there, clear up to your shoulder to get to the storage in the back. But not in an open range. They make it easier. So again, we have uh, additional drawer space over here and a giant pantry where you can keep all your mac and cheese and whatnot. You know, you could easily sleep eight or ten people in this RV. You have to be able to feed them, you know? Um, now that we've closed all that, let's look at the rest of the storage in the island kitchen. First of all, they're giving you a trash can and a place to put it, and that is so welcome. It's just, I mean, for how many years did we just tie Walmart bags to our handles? And you're not... You know, I'm not, I'm not ignorant. This is not the cheapest RV you can look at. You're not buying something like this to have trash bags visible hanging in your kitchen. You're purchasing something like this because you want one of the best things out there, and that's what you're getting. And again, that is that goes clear to the end, so even more extra large storage. And you have four of these full pull-out extension drawers right here. So you are not ever going to hurt for storage in an open range. I'm going to kill the living room lights because I am on battery power uh, as we move back here. Um, the uh, bunkhouse, we're, we are looking at an upgrade they call the party room. Um, it converts this uh, into a cool little dinette and it adds some cushions back here with some storage drawers below. So what's awesome is it turns this into an all-purpose room. This is designed for a flat screen against the wall. Probably 32 inch would fit in there very well without modifying anything. So we have... Uh, we could fold this table down, use that like a bunk. We have bunks here. This could be obviously a very traditional bunkhouse. Throw those pillows on the floor, which the kids are going to do. They're not going to store them. Uh, and, you know, you're camping. By the way, this is a 50% larger bunk over here with plenty of headroom because, again, this is 7 foot tall. Um, you'll, you'll hear more in that 7 foot tall when we get to the bathroom because you have more headroom in the shower. So... Uh, when it's a rainy day and everybody's stuck inside or you have guests or friends staying with you, you can flip that bunk up. It's very easy. It takes one hand and it just latches against the wall. Every sleeping space has its own LED light, by the way, which I forgot to mention. All interior lighting on every single open range is 100% LED. You are not going to have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs. This table here easily um, pulls out of the floor 
and uh, you know you can you fold that down into an extra dinette or you have a daytime like desk area here you also have some supremely easy access storage going on and notice that everything's aluminum framed everything and it's welded aluminum it's not bracketed bracketed aluminum can wiggle wiggling aluminum bends bending aluminum sucks <laughs> to put it in English um, you have a pair of these big drawers here under this sofa that again is part of that party room package and uh, let's see we've got again the big central air system back here uh, you also have a, a big closet back here uh, for extra storage space so this can be a den a bunkhouse a second living room an extended living room um, it can be just about anything you want it could be a craft room I mean whatever you want notice that even without the lights on still still fairly bright still looks pretty darn good in here you know um, I do want to point out they do have a handy little coat closet right next to the entry door here and uh, you know I can't even tell you how many RVs like big expensive fifth wheels of motorhomes they don't give you a place to hang a coat by the door you know uh, some of the best camping is spring and fall camping if you don't have a place to just drop a coat you know that's no fun the uh, electronics inside outside everywhere all the electronics are Furion brand and I'm taking a moment to point that out because this is a big deal uh, this is an indicator of yet another higher level amenity included in this RV. Um, Furion Electronics are the premier provider for RV and marine applications. They're made to be shaken harder before they fail because this thing bounces hard going down the road. Um, they're also made to be heated and cooled further and faster before they fail. And that's the kind of you know appliance grade and whatnot you're going to get here. Now that I have the lights turned on actually, let me back up. So you get to, uh, whoa, I'm running super long on this. I'm about 16 minutes already. Did not realize. Again, there's a lot to talk about in an open range. So let me kill the lights again, save a little battery power. I forgot to charge it last night, so pardon me. So we have a gorgeous bathroom here. The uh, uh, Now this is a super tall ceiling. So you do have a wall control switch for that fan. And just notice how... It just instantly brightens up everywhere you go. This is a spa-style shower. What that means is the doors open from the middle. And when they open from the middle, you don't have to worry about a swinging door hitting something and breaking in transit. Also, if you're going to take a shower, you don't have to back up, open the door, get in, close the door. That's annoying. Um, they do. Uh, they use every ounce of space here they can. This is not the largest pocket in the world, but it's better than nothing. That's the thing to remember. Everything is better than nothing. Anything. And, uh, uh, you know, again, super tall. I mentioned how you have seven foot tall ceilings. You get more headroom in the shower here. So you're not ever going to worry about uh, head space. Let's uh, take a quick peek around the corner into the bedroom. Oops. Just watch my camera's point. I hope you're not getting motion sick. Sorry about that. So both windows in each side of the bedroom are larger. They're going to get you more airflow. Designed for a flat screen against the wall up there, by the way. Uh, you have larger cabinets above the bed. You have larger wardrobes. You also have a larger gap between uh, this uh, bedside stand and uh, this corner here because it's a taller RV. Now they do include chargers and, um, well, chargers on this side, meaning USB and 12 volt, and they do have power outlets on both sides of the RV so that everybody can run like CPAP machines and whatnot. Also worth mentioning, this is a true 80 inch queen bed. This is not a shorter camper queen. Queen sheets will fit this. And I love showing people their massive underbed storage under here. Now, not only is it super big and deep and holds itself up, but it has this handy little sliding uh, cargo tray here. So you get basically a two tier system to double your total storage space. Um, I forgot to mention it outside, but seeing this reminds me, even the antenna, the TV antenna is better. It's a King Jack system, which in English means it has longer reaching reception. It's high def. It'll get you more channels with better clarity. Even the TV antenna is superior here. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping. Have some fun.